At the end of the previous episode, we found out the real reason why Arcturus Manx decided to send down General Duke to the service of Tarsonis. It wasn't necessarily because of his expertise of the planet, but to plant down a Psy Admitter, essentially luring all of the Zerk in nearby worlds towards Tarsonis itself, which is of course the home planet of the Confederation. And this is something that was hidden until the very end from Kerrigan as well as Raynor. Like a beacon, the combined power of the Psy Admitters reached out to the far corners of the Terran sector, luring billions of Zerg to the capital world of Tarsonis. The Zerg, overrunning the Confederacy's best defenses, proceeded to lay waste to Tarsonis' major cities and industrial centers. New Gettysburg, command ship Hyperion, holding close orbit over the Confederate capital world of Tarsonis. I've picked up several dozen Protoss warships descending upon Tarsonis. They seem to be heading on a direct course to the primary Zerg hive. If they engage the Zerg, the Confederates may escape. Commander, send Lieutenant Kerrigan with a strike force to engage the Protoss. Captain Raynor and General Duke will stay behind with the command ship. First you sell out every person on this world to the Zerg. Then you ask us to go up against the Protoss. And you're gonna send Kerrigan down there with no backup? I have absolute confidence in Kerrigan's ability to hold off the Protoss. This is bullshit. Kerrigan, are you reading this? I heard. I'm going down there. Arcturus knows what he's doing. I can't back out on him now. Funny. I never thought of you as anyone's martyr. So really, Manx is just looking to quite literally eliminate every single last of the Confederation, which is quite aggressive. Of course, the Protoss swoop in whenever there seems to be a, a planet overrun by the Zerg, and they're just simply destroying everything. But apparently, he wants to make sure, like, wants to make double sure that the Confederation ends up losing everybody. All right, so we need to destroy the Protoss force. All Zerg buildings must survive, and Kerrigan must survive as well. That seems so backwards, right? We essentially want to make sure that... Uh that the Zerg uh, gets eliminated, but in the process we also want to like sort of like turn it around. It seemed like the Confederation initially wanted to use the Zerg to get rid of their rifles, but now we're doing the exact same thing to them, which is kind of ironic. Anyway, let's jump into it. Why are you doing this, Kerrigan? Look, I know about your past. I mean, I've heard the rumors. I know you were part of those experiments with the Zerg that Manx came and saved you, but you don't owe him this. Hell. I saved your butt plenty of times. Jimmy, drop the knight in shining armor routine. It suits you sometimes. Just not, not now. I don't need to be rescued. I know what I'm doing. The Protoss are coming to destroy the entire planet, not just the Zerg. I know that because, well, I just know it. I am a ghost, remember? Once we've dealt with the Protoss, we can do something about the Zerg. Arcturus will come around. I know he will. I hope you're right, darling. Good hunting. All right. <laughs> I think we'll get started right here by just simply uh, lifting up a bunch of our buildings and putting them in more convenient positions. Because, uh, I mean, while I do like the uh, the Vespian geyser there, this is far too far from minerals otherwise. There we go. I guess that'll be a little bit more uh, efficient at the very least as far as the mining goes. Alrighty. So, we once again have got a mission right here where we will indeed be playing around with uh, Kerrigan. Now, Kerrigan, of course, uh, is still a ghost. She can infiltrate things quite uh, quite effectively. I'm not entirely sure if we need to. So our main objective is to actually keep the Zerk alive this time around. So 
we want to we want protos to like kill everything but only in our you know in our in our correct timing right it's quite uh, it's quite a complicated story actually like compared to uh, starcraft 2 at the very least uh that one is significantly easier as far as like the bare basics go anyway i wanted to try out a bit of a different unit composition in this mission because i've been playing a lot of marine heavy styles but I don't know. Maybe okay. Fine. Let's let's go. Let's go ahead and build some vultures then. We'll use the marines defensively, and build up a, a mechanical based army composition instead. Of course, one of the one of the better ones or one of the more common compositions as far as like professional StarCraft One goes is of course that vulture siege tank composition, which is very popular. There's the Zerk. I'm sorry, Zerk. Uh, it's just that uh, vultures, of course, while they are very good, they're also very flimsy. Like, they're, they're very, like, similar to the Marine, I guess, in that sense. Uh, they only cause minerals as well, and they're only a little bit more expensive than a Marine to begin with. But they are quite flimsy and, I guess, reasonably disposable. But we really want to build up that Siege Tank count here in just a little bit, too. So I think I'm going to build... I don't know. Let's let's build, like, four or so more SCVs here on minerals, and then we'll saturate a bunch into the gas as well. Just because I think that's going to be something that we will need. Um, well, probably, like, considering the distance right here between the Assimilator... Or between the uh, the refinery rotter and then the the command center, I think we're gonna have to put like six or so SCVs in this one, which is highly inefficient. <laughs> but it's all right. We'll build like one control group worth of uh, of SCVs on the uh, on the minerals, and then uh, we'll go from there. Uh, let's do a little bit of exploration, I guess. Kerrigan is here anyway, so let's go ahead and cloak her. Have a quick little look around. Okay, the Zerk is up here. Just a joke, just a joke, little Zergies. Okay. Fair enough. Yeah, so basically there's just Zerk all over here. We don't really want to destroy their stuff. Apparently we are essentially now protecting this entire area. It's so ironic, it doesn't make much sense, but I guess that is... That is just simply how we've got it set up right now. Uh, actually, let's let's go ahead and be a little bit smarter here about our positions as well. I don't know if Zerk is gonna run down their ramp and attack our stuff. I mean, technically speaking, we could try and mine from that, although we're gonna lose a bunch of... A bunch of, uh, a bunch of my dudes to the, to the Sunkens. Anyway, I think we're gonna need at least like five or so SCVs in that refinery. I don't think there's another option here. All right. So that should be enough here on uh, on gas or on the minerals rather. Next up, we'll, we'll saturate some on gas, and I guess I'll I'll pull some of these guys off whenever we need to produce more stuff. Let's go ahead and build a machine shop, and I think we'll build I don't know three more, five in gas in total. I think that's decent. All right. Um, so we'll focus on siege tanks, we'll focus on a bunch of these uh, vultures as well, which of course are incredibly good. They are very fast as well, particularly once we get the uh, the ion thrusters ability on them, uh, which we will unlock in just a second. And I guess for now, we should also consider getting ourselves a second factory, just because it makes life a little bit easier. Uh, so let's get the ion thrusters. Maybe spider mines first, actually, is not a bad idea either. I wonder if five is even enough. I don't think so. <laughs> This is so silly to see. Anyway, uh, we'll get our uh, Terran machine shop started right from the get-go. The only issue, of course, is that we won't really have any anti-air here. So maybe I'm going to have to try and get myself... Uh, there, we do get slown down, by the way, once again from the Queen. But I think we may have to, like, maybe get a bunch of uh, Goliaths in there as well, which are very nice. Pretty much everything. I'm not sure if we're going to get any upgrades on those just yet. But we can start constructing our very first siege tank very shortly. There we go. Um, and we'll just simply rally all of the units towards this position. Let's go ahead and get another depot. And another one. Right over here or so. Let's get a, another machine shop on this one too. And I am looking here to start up um, at least one armory as well. Only uh, only 50 gas actually, that's not all too bad. Uh, but we'll build up a, a single armory here too. So we can use that to our advantage. Alright. So you guys are going to be defensive units. Together with Kerrigan. The siege tanks and then the vultures are going to be our primary lines of defense. Let's go ahead and get the ion thrusters ability here ASAP. And very shortly siege mode as well, but let's do a little bit of exploration. Just because we can. Hmm. Not seeing any protos just yet. There's just Bob's guns apparently over here. Yeah, all of these bases are connected to this area. I'm sorry little Zerkling. I know I like you. He ended up dying. Rip. That is unfortunate. Um, let's just rally things over here, actually. It's probably a little more convenient. Look at that long-distance gas mining, though. 
Now there's a little bit of a break in between them entering, so that means that we are mining efficient, uh, efficiently here. All right, let's get siege modes. I think we've got enough on minerals anyway. Hmm, where's the protos? There are a lot of bases out on this map, though. I don't know if it's worth expending all too much. I mean, so far, we haven't really had the need to expend, so if we don't need to, I guess we're all right. Are you stuck? Okay, then. Let's go ahead and hang off in that corner. Let's, uh, let's build, like, two more SCVs. Let's just go ahead and build two more, uh, two more right there. And look at that beautiful starlit sky. <laughs> it's just real. Okay, so we scouted around in the bottom, uh, or I guess on the left-hand side of this map quite well already. Uh, let's get the plus one missile upgrade. Or the plus one, uh, you know, vehicle weapons, I guess. There's our first uh, interaction with a Dragoon. There's also a Zealot, apparently. And I guess we can go ahead and put down a whole lot of these uh, mines essentially everywhere. The mines are very important, of course. Because they make life a bunch easier. Now, Siege Tanks in particular are incredible against Dragoons. So I think we'll go ahead and take these guys with us as well. I really wonder if it's worth expending, though. I don't think we really need to just yet, at least. I don't know if there's going to be any Dark Templar or anything along those lines. Okay. Zealot's quite a different unit than in StarCraft 2. Quite a bit tankier. No pun intended. Can you guys please walk us and follow us into the Siege Tank Radius? That would be brilliant. They do so much damage. Okay. Slow pushing here. Of course, by the way, in uh, professional StarCraft, it's pretty common to play this composition against Protoss to begin with. Ooh, once again, that queen is that queen is trying to be uh, a little annoying, apparently. I actually quite like this setup, though. The one with uh, the heavy mech focus. Uh, there was a uh, an army up there, so I kind of want to. I kind of want to have a, a quick look around. Also, I need to make sure that I build up a couple more depots, and um, just double checking if I've got all the upgrades. But it looks like we're good. Planning down some mines everywhere. Mines, of course, are actually detectors as well. I don't know if that's the case in StarCraft. No, it doesn't quite show up. I don't know if it does normally, though. But. So there is some protos up on this ramp. If it's not already dead. Okay. Trying to slow push here. I can probably consider getting another uh, another factory. Very good. I'm basically just slowly like leapfrogging all of my siege tanks and uh, and units forward. Even though the liberators, or rather the liberators, the uh, the units I've got right now, these uh, vultures are not amazing at killing these army units. They're very good at like. Zoning and like preventing the enemies from really getting into a great position just allowing the siege tanks to hit more often and therefore obviously just harder Okay, is there anything up here? Hmm, not really seeing anything just yet. I'm a little worried that I'm gonna overextend here So let's quickly save just in case so we don't get into this scenario Gotta be careful as well of the splash damage, of course. Okay. Love the Protoss, though. Such a badass race. I actually really like the Protoss in StarCraft 1. Probably my favorite race in the multiplayer thus far. I think they're really cool. Like, I love Zerg, don't get me wrong. I think they're really cool, too. And I really enjoyed playing Terran too, but something just clicks with Protoss whenever I play it. 
Ooh, gotta be careful of my widow mines or my spider mines, Rudder. Okay, let's go ahead and get the armory there. Can I make any uh, Goliaths? I can. Let's go ahead and queue some up. Maybe go ahead and build a second factory or a third factory rudder as well. Okay. Look at the amount of damage these siege tanks are doing, though. Insane. Okay. Bunch of shuttles keep uh, sending in new and uh, new and better units, I guess. But gotta be careful here, Loco. Let's get some Goliaths out now. Goliaths are gonna be helpful here too, just in case. Where are you guys going? You're going the wrong way, mate. <laughs> Typical pathing in StarCraft One. Like you send the units to go one way and they move the exact opposite. It's like, wait, how did that even what? Okay. We got a lot of siege tanks, actually. Even unseeged, of course, they still do 30 damage per hit, so it's not like they're weak unseeged. Um. Yeah, we're gonna end up losing most of the vultures here, which is unfortunate, but. Gotta be careful of my splash damage here. Oh, that was not ideal. Oh, they're actually getting rid of it. Very good. There we go. And we're slowly taking down all of these Protoss units. And I wonder if that's actually like already this mission almost taken care of. I mean, we're cleaning up a lot of stuff here. It will take a little while longer before we kill everything, I guess. But we're doing a pretty decent job. Uh, I guess I could build up a starport and eventually start switching towards that mech-based style and, or, you know, the, the plus two plus two upgrades and all that, but... I mean, the Goliaths are pretty sweet here. Can you have a look up here, Mr. Siege Tank? See if there's anything hidden up in that area. Um, there we go. Look how good they are against pretty much everything, though. Oh, there's now actually a bunch of Mutas available as well. Obviously, we need to make sure that we kill the the Protoss, not the Zerg. <laughs> that is awesome. Alright. Um, and I think, actually, that we may have just cleaned up everything, with the exception of a, a few buildings that might be hiding in this corner. Yeah, there are, uh, or there's a single assimilator, at least. Go ahead and take that one out. There may be some still remaining as well in a in a dark corner on this map, but we seem to be able to get rid of most of these things with relative ease. So this is a pylon, of course, that will get shut down here in a second too. Assimilator is now gone. Let's have a quick little look in. I think that's it actually. I think this last pylon may very may very well be the last building. Is it? Uh, not quite yet. I think there must be a hidden uh, a hidden unit somewhere in one of the corners, or a hidden building. I don't think a victory gets triggered actually if there's no uh I don't know if there's actually if like a single unit is left over that the victory doesn't just trigger yet. Hmm. Oh, there's a single No, there are units coming from somewhere. You think it could be in that area? Maybe over here in this corner there's still a chance as well. It's always quite funny seeing the minimap when you play mech. Like, there's like green spots everywhere, and it's just because the the, the, the little spider mines that you burrow on the. Uh... Oh, here we go. I think this might be a corner where some units are hanging out. But anyway, uh, the spider mines that you burrow from the uh, from the vultures are actually not regarded as a uh, as like a, a burrowed unit that can't move or whatever anymore. It just simply shows up as a uh, a fully sized targetable unit. But I think we found out where the last of the area is going to be. Yep. Actually, quite a few units there, too. Okay. 
course, these things are uh, much better against uh, air. I really need my siege tanks here. Let's get these siege tanks over here in position. Kill this Protoss base up here as well. And I think with that, that would be this mission over already. Okay, let's get the siege tanks up to the high ground. Gotta be careful that I'm not like accidentally blocking ramps. That is something that I've done many, many times already. I've been locking myself in every now and then. I think this is also the point where we can potentially... Well, let's just leave these guys at home. There's really no particular reason for us, but here we go. Uh, that is gonna be the last of the, uh, the Protoss bases here. It'll take a couple of minutes before we completely shut all of it down. And I guess I'm gonna have to, like, put my siege tanks in a bit more of an efficient position. But eventually, this should bring down every single last of these structures. And therefore give me the victory right here. Right now. There we go. Pushing onwards. Gotta make sure that I take uh, take down that uh, that photon cannon without like sieging up in range. Photon cannon range or photon cannon range is actually quite significant. Look at that. Well, I thought I wasn't in range there, but very good. And with the last of my units now fighting the last of their buildings. All right, that should be it. Get in there, boys. Just go ahead and move over. Got a lot of siege tanks and liberators and or sorry, siege tanks and vultures and whatnot also waiting. Some of you need to stick around, just in case the, the Zork decides to get cheeky. Siege tanks actually don't seem to do as much damage to buildings. Am I crazy in saying that? Oh, here's the Zork again. Well, good thing I left some units at home. Oh, this is hurting quite a bit, actually. Carrigan actually taking a bunch of damage there, but... The last assimilator and the last two pylons. This dude has been shooting away at that pylon for like four and a half minutes. <laughs> but here we go. Last pylon. I think that must be it, right? Not? Really? There's still something else hidden here somewhere. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, we have. Your forces are under attack. Belay that order. We're moving out. What? You're not just gonna leave them? All ships prepare to move away from Tarsona. Whoa, Minsk! Uh, boys? How does that is even under attack? attack? Damn you, Arcturus. Don't do this. It's done. Helmsman, signal the fleet and take us out of orbit. Are you kidding me? Base is under attack. Jim? I actually... Wait, wait, wait. Manx is betraying... Kerrigan right here, right now? I had absolutely no idea that that was a thing. Also, apparently, my camera ran out of batteries. I still can't believe that just happened right there. The hammer falls. Command ship Hyperion once again. The fleet has lost contact with the ground forces at New Gettysburg. General Minsk has ordered the immediate disengagement of the Korhal fleet from the Tarsonian system. Protoss and Zerg forces continue to battle across the core continent of Tarsonis. Receiving incoming transmission. I can't believe he actually left her down there. I'm gone, and you better come with me. There's no telling who Arcturus will screw over next. Receiving incoming transmission. Gentlemen, you've done very well. But remember that we've still got a job to do. The seeds of a new empire have been sown. And if we hope uh, to reach to hell with you! You're making a terrible mistake. Don't even think to cross me. I have sacrificed too much to let this fall apart. You mean like you sacrificed Kerrigan? You'll regret that. You don't seem to realize my situation here. I will not be stopped. Not by you, or the Confederates, or the Protoss, or anyone. Hmm. I will rule this sector, or see it burnt to ashes around me. 
If you try to get the fleet is prepped and ready, Commander. Awaiting orders. The hell with him. We're gone. It appears that General Duke has successfully activated Tarsonis's primary defensive weapon, the Ion Cannon. The cannon must be shut down if any escape attempt is to be made. Hmm. I'm actually quite surprised here. I mean that for a lot of you, you probably already know this, uh, or you already knew about this plot twist. I, I knew that Arturus Manx was generally considered to not be the good guy. But I actually had no idea that he sacrificed Kerrigan? While trying to make sure that the entirety of the Confederation would die on Tarsonis? I had no clue that that actually was the case, and she trusted him as well. Alright, so now for Rainer, in order to get out of here, I guess we once again have to turn now on, on Duke again as well. This is getting rather, uh, rather tricky, but the objectives for the next mission are to destroy the Ion Cannon, and of course Rainer must survive. Whew. Commander, looks like we're on our own. It's funny. Seems like yesterday Arcturus was the idealistic rebel crusader. Now he's the law and we're the criminals. It kills me to know that we helped him achieve his goals in conquest. Damn it. I shouldn't have let her go alone. Let's burn. Alrighty. Well, here we go. We got a huge amount of minerals here. Considering we've been playing marine-based armies, we've been playing siege tank, and now also vulture-based armies. Um, I'm kind of tempted to see if we can maybe make some starport armies. I mean, I don't really know how viable that's going to be, but if we can make a whole bunch of raids, for example, with cloak. I could actually do quite a bit of work that way. I have no clue how good they're gonna be against buildings and all that, so I guess there's only one proper way to find out. Um, we got a whole lot of nothing, though. We got a whole lot of nothing. Currently can't construct anything. Nope. So let's go ahead and get started here by just simply building up economy. We'll create ourselves another one of those supply depots as well. Building up that barracks, and I guess we'll put down like a starport or two in just a second. Um, there we go. Let's go ahead and uh, build up the refinery too, because we're gonna need it if we plan on building a bunch of uh, a bunch of Stargate units. I'm still quite surprised by that uh, that plot switch, uh, uh, by that plot twist right there. Insane. Now, judging by the setup that we've got right here, um, we are more than likely gonna need a little bit more than uh, than just. Uh, I don't even know what rates cost to be completely honest with you, but I think we're gonna need a little bit more than just air units. There's only one proper way to find out, though. <laughs> There are a ton of mineral patches, so, you know, the game is expecting me to get a bunch of minerals. And therefore probably uh, be basing my army around, uh, around uh, marines. That's okay. Um, let's go ahead and build up a factory right from the get-go. I don't know how many starports we can, uh, we can even support. Let's do a little bit of scouting ahead with the Vulture. I think we have two. Oh, actually, no, that's Raynor himself. I'm quite disappointed that, uh, that Arcturus Manx just did that. Crazy. I thought the Sons of Korhal were the good guys now. But apparently that's not quite the case. It's a story of uh, betrayal. So wait, are these actually General uh, Duke's forces? Oh, it doesn't actually say right there his affiliation. Ooh, really? I currently don't have any detection. Uh, I have no detection whatsoever. I don't have a comm set. Rest in peace, siege tank. Alrighty, so I got myself three starports here. I don't even know if we need to get. Uh... Oh, we can make battle cruisers. Ooh, I was thinking we could only make raids, maybe, but okay. Well, let's go ahead and get started with a couple of raids. I don't think that's a bad idea. Uh, Apollo reactor. Let's go ahead and get that then. Well, as soon as we can afford it. Do we even really need to worry about that? Nah, let's just get the cloaking field. I don't really think we need plus 50 energy on the on the wraith. That will basically be just an additional minute or so of waiting, right? I'm assuming. Uh, how much do these things cost? 100 gas each? I don't have n even remotely enough uh, gas and comb here. How many SCVs do we need to go into the gas guys? There needs to be like a short delay, right? Before they enter. And actually, that comset tower is kind of bugging out the uh, positioning there as well. Insufficient Vespine gas. I don't actually think we can support this much. Yes. Hmm. I think I'm going to need a little bit more time, just building up a bunch of rates. Uh, I have no clue how many we're going to be able to support off of just a single refinery, though. I mean, technically speaking, I guess we could build about 50. 
off of just that one gas, but I, uh, I'm not getting that much gas income right now to properly support it, so maybe we should also be queuing up a bunch of marines just because we can, and then also as many supply depots as we can. Alright, I think it's time to move out. We'll still keep on building up a bunch more of these things, but let's do a, a little bit of scouting ahead here with some of those marines. I mean, I need to make them anyway. Shutting down their, uh, their fire bets first. Just because they're annoying. And whenever I've got gas available, I'm spending them on rates. Maybe rates are a terrible idea. I don't actually know. Get him, boys. I kind of need another base, though. You think I'm going to be able to get another base? How many, how many rates do you need in order to get them to a point where they're actually really good? I mean, I don't want to, like, use Cloak all the time, because it, it takes 25 energy to activate. Which is quite a bit. Mm, nothing in that corner. Alright, I think it's time to do a little bit of flying around. There we go. Alright. Um, cool, let's have a look. Let me quickly save as well before we go anywhere, just in case. Of course, they are going to be pretty good at, like, gunning down marines, at least. If there's, like, mostly marines out, that's not all too worrisome. I'm just a little worried if they're going to have, like, a bunch of goliaths hanging off in a corner. Do you think I can just fly over there? I highly doubt it. I think actually that this accidentally attack moved on one of my own units. I could like cloak. I could cloak the, the low HP ones. Although I guess I may have just gotten, yeah. I don't know how good this, <laughs> this setup is going to be. Full raid. I wonder if I could just fly down though. I wonder if I could just fly to the top, uh, top left corner of the map somehow. That would be so funny. Should we give it a try? This is probably gonna go real bad. I just want to point out, this is probably gonna go really bad. Alright, let's have a look. Let's have a look. See if we can make this work. We're gonna try and see if we can fly straight up north. And then, like, potentially all the way around. Because I'm pretty sure all I need to do is, like, destroy that thing, right? Okay. There's a random Vespian geyser here. Fair enough. I'm just making marines as well, by the way. Ooh. Okay, we're cloaked. I did. This is. I'm probably gonna have to load back to where I was just previously at, right? To that safe point. This map is huge, though. Oh snap! A whole lot of missile turrets everywhere. Oh man, no way. Um, not quite what I had anticipated. Not quite what I had anticipated. Okay, I want to try it once more. I want to try it once more. So I'm just about to get my 12th Wraith. I think if I can cloak, right? And I can just simply hang out right in this corner. I think there's a chance that I can potentially finish this before I'm really running into any trouble whatsoever. I'm just a little worried because there, I think there was a single science vessel. That obviously makes it a little tricky, and this may require a couple of attempts, but if you can find a bit of a spot... If we can find a bit of a spot, there's actually a chance we can complete it reasonably straightforwardly. Alright, alright. Let's save right here. Let's save right here. Activate cloaking. Not all of them actually have cloaking, I just realized. They, no, it's actually possible! Uh, it's just that there's a single science vessel. If I could kill that science vessel, though... I... I think we may have to play this the hard way. Alright, science vessel's following me. Okay, I got it. I got it. I got it. It did EMP my units, though, didn't it? Uh, it most definitely did EMP my units. I don't know if it's gonna be rebuilt. If not, there's a good chance we could actually do an awful lot of damage with something like this. I mean, if the science vessel is gone, and we can just sneak by the missile turrets, we can probably kill it quite easily. It's just that, uh, I am gonna need energy on these things. Did I just make... Did I just spend 300 gas on a bunch of dropships? We don't need dropships. I'm sorry. Get them out of there. 
Get him out of there. We don't need you guys. That was a misclick right there by me. I think I'm gonna have to wait though, right? Like, it takes a long time before that energy regenerates. That's gonna take a, a couple of minutes at the very least, so I guess we just simply sit back and wait? Eh, I'm not a big fan of sitting back and waiting. Uh, so I just looked away from my monitor for a couple of minutes while my raids regenerate energy. Only to come back and see that my command center is burning and most of my SCVs are gone. I'm assuming here that a nuke may have come in. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure what happened, but all of a sudden I heard that I was supply blocked. I'm like, wait, what? Supply blocked? How did that happen? Okay, a uh, little unfortunate there. I do have a lot of additional raids now as well. Alright, I think we're gonna try and do this again. Time to cloak. I'm gonna lose a bunch of these guys right from the get-go. I can actually hit it! I can actually hit it! The question is, is it gonna be killed in time? Uh, that is a l It's possible, though! I actually could have microed this better as well, because I left- Oh god, there is a- There is a science vessel in that corner. Alright, so I'm hunting down- Oh! I'm hunting down- as many of these things as we can find. I know there's another one. Down here somewhere. Yeah, there they are. There it is. Okay, get him. I don't know if those are the only two. So I've killed ju two just now, right? I've just killed two. I don't know if that's any good. Oh man. Uh, I don't know. I think, I think, I think that this strategy won't quite work out. And I think our best option is to go ahead and restart and, you know, begin with a, a unit composition that is going to be a little bit better all round, rather than just messing up a lot of raid. I do think that the strategy would eventually be possible, but you do have to kind of get lucky that either the uh, science vessels chase you around and you can just pick them off, or that you can just... I think I think if you I think if you can dodge them somehow some way as well there might be an option to just barely sneak in the back there and take down the ion cannon. Anyway, we'll go ahead and restart this mission in the next episode and I think with that we'll probably also be able to close out the very first episode of the original StarCraft campaign from the Terran, which would mean that the one after the next one would probably start off with the Zerg. If you're excited to see that, definitely do make sure you hit that subscribe button down below so you get a notification as soon as I upload that. And other than that, I want to thank you for watching. Have an amazing day. Do not forget to smile alright, and I will see you in the next one.